Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Highway to Hell. And today we have a review for Ghost Rider number two. I got two covers here. Uh, it was really nice of Leland over at House of Secrets when I went in. He said, hey, man, I don't know how you feel about variants, but I know you're a big Venom guy and a Ghost Rider guy. So when I saw this Clayton Crane cover, I put it in your pull list so you could have a variant. It was charged more. I think it was like a seven or eight dollar, you know, variant or whatever. And normally I'm not a big variant guy. But when I saw this and the fact that he held it for me and was thinking of me, I was like, you know what? Just for that, I'm going to buy it alone. I'll spend the eight bucks. So I got this one and then I got a regular copy. So we do have two digital codes. So we'll give them out right now. There's the first code. Boom right there and then i'll let that run for about 20 30 seconds and then we'll put up the second code so out there if you get one of the codes let me know down below and don't try to claim both codes because you're just going to get two copies of the same book so give someone else a chance to get it uh, but uh, for those of you who out there who get the codes let me know what your review is of this book down below and we'll continue our conversation down there. And if you also, if you've read this book and you have thoughts, I'd love to hear what they are down below. Um, I'm going to try to avoid some spoilers, but I feel like this will be a review slash discussion and maybe more discussion because I do have a lot to say. And the book came out about two weeks ago now, so I feel like it's okay to spoil it on some level. Um, but it picks up where the first one left off, and we have uh, Johnny Blaze on Earth. He was able to escape hell through a portal. He has his guards kind of watching it back in hell, but of course they were now beaten down by Lilith's group, and they're now guarding the portal for Johnny Blaze to come back. So there's trouble waiting for him if he goes back down to hell. But right now he's on Earth, and there's like these like dozen or so uh, demons that have gotten out, and they're disguising themselves as humans and other things. Uh, so Johnny Blaze has to really work work hard to track them down and as he's tracking each one down and basically killing them and 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 you doing the penance there and everything he's slowly transforming and you can see the crown growing on his head so he's uh, like it is on the front cover he's becoming the king of hell and he's losing himself in it and he's losing his humanity in a lot of ways and meanwhile on the other side we have Dan Ketch who is, you know, uh, a, a drunk, you know, he's, he's working at his bar um, and he wakes up and there's, you know, one of his you know, exes or friends comes along. She's a police officer and she's like, hey, when's the last time you talked to this one person? He goes, oh, that guy, he's a regular here. And she's like, uh, yeah, someone told me a man in, with a flaming skull paid him a visit. And Dan's like, it's not me. He's like, I, I didn't do it. He goes, I wouldn't hurt that guy. One, I don't sense any real evil coming from him. And two, uh, he's a regular paying customer, one of my only ones. He's like, so why would I, what reason would I have to hurt him? And so that's when he's starting to realize, oh, Johnny's still here on this, in this realm. And he's doing like some horrible stuff. And meanwhile, hell is also like, you know, falling apart down there while he's up here, you know, doing his thing. And so Johnny's going to all these different places and he's torturing and hurting uh, people and demons and all kind of stuff. And he's starting to care less and less about the destruction and harm he causes so uh, as he you know intensifies that's when dan catches like all right i gotta go stop him so dan catch shows up and the two of them get into it and it's pretty cool it's a couple pages of a full-on ghost rider versus ghost rider fight with demons in the middle who are getting like slaughtered by Johnny Blaze and Dan Ketch is trying really hard to prevent it. And uh, there's, so, oh, there's some great stuff. I love these images. Uh, definite nods to old covers and old uh, you know panels from the 90s series. Um, but I love that stuff. And, uh, and we have Dan basically going, I gotta be the good brother here and I gotta stop Johnny and I gotta save him. That's the, the thing he says as he's chasing him. He's like, I have to save him. And I love that line. And they're, as they're driving up the bridge here, so good the visuals in this book are just outstanding um the artist on this is is doing a killer job we have uh, aaron cruder uh cooter who's doing the art and ed breeson is writing just one hell of a script pun intended uh he's doing a really good job on this so uh so yeah the two of them they reached at the top of the bridge this is where uh, obviously gwen stacy got thrown off uh so i was like oh no are they you know do they sent souls you know like is gwen souls that's still around uh that's just me being an uber nerd for no reason uh but of course they don't have any of that stuff because they focus on the battle which is what you should do in this storyline you focus on these characters and the, and the story you're trying to tell with them and uh what happens is johnny blaze grabs dan and is able to somehow take away the Ghost Rider power, which I'm really curious about because I'm a little lost on Dan's abilities now. Like when Dan was Ghost Rider, they, he found out it was a certain demon that was possessing him that he was working with. And uh, and, they, and I think there was Zarathos was there and there was other things going on. And then when he came back, it was like an angel and there was like blue energy coming out of him and he was like blue fire and stuff. 
Uh, so I'm not really sure how he got back to the red fire side and if he has the original spirit from the 90s that was possessing him from his motorcycle because they show him transform sometimes using his motorcycle and other times just they just show him show up somewhere and you don't really know how he got there or how he transformed. So I'm I'm a little it's a little vague there on that. So maybe Ed Breeson will touch on that a little bit um, or maybe now that Dan got his Ghost Rider drained out of him. Maybe he'll have to do something extreme to get it back or get a Ghost Rider back or become a Ghost Rider again. Because I'm sure that's what he's going to do in order to take down his brother, Johnny Blaze. So, yeah, these covers are great because this one is them fighting and that's exactly what happens in the book. And I like this one, too, because it's them riding together, which was kind of what they, you know, probably the dream scenario that uh, Dan wishes he could have is, oh, I wish my brother was back from hell, not the king of hell being Ghost Rider. And maybe it would alleviate some of my duties as Ghost Rider. Um, but it would just be great to have my brother back. And really, they, they're they just kind of at each other's throats in this one. And it does kind of remind me of Supernatural. That's what I like about these characters. Ever since, you know, uh, Johnny Blaze came back into the fold in the Spirits of Vengeance books in the 90s when uh, Dan Ketch was Ghost Rider, ever since that happened, I was like, wow, I really like this brother dynamic because I grew up with a little brother too. And I really like that dynamic. And then when I started watching the show Supernatural and it got into the later seasons with angels and demons and stuff, I was like, wow, this reminds me a lot of the relationship between Dan Ketch and Johnny Blaze. Plays. and uh, sometimes they have the brothers have to fight each other sometimes one of the brothers gets turned evil or possessed and you know they have to you know take you know save them or take them down and that's kind of what this is and it's a lot of fun so i would say if you're out there and you're a ghost rider fan uh, i'm glad you know that you are hopefully you're watching a show because you're a ghost rider fan but definitely be picking up this book you know uh, issue two just came out like one or two weeks ago and you know that means another two or three weeks we'll get the next issue too so i will continue to review these you know or talk about them at least during the time they come out maybe not on the week they come out but maybe within a week or two of them coming out i'll try to cover them and if i get two covers each time which i'm going to try to do if i can if i can afford it i'll try to get two covers so i can give away two codes each time since there's two ghost riders uh so it only makes sense to give away two codes and double the chances of everybody winning something so let me know what you think if you've read Ghost Rider number two. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. And if you've uh, got the digital codes, uh, anyone out there, both of you out there who got them, please let me know your reviews down in the comments below and we'll continue our conversation down there because I'd love to hear what other people are thinking of this too. Because uh, I'm having fun. I really am liking this book and we're two issues in. And even though there's some things that are a little vague and I wish they were a little more clear on, ultimately the characters are done really, really well and I get what's going on mostly and uh and it's very it's mostly a clear-cut storyline uh but it's brother trying to save brother and one brother falling too far now that he's you know the king of hell and dan really not strong enough to save you know his brother but still trying anyway and that's just heroics uh you know times 10 uh is when you don't have the power to do something but you still try to help anyway and that's what i like and so this is good stuff so far and i can't wait to see especially the way this ends where they're going to go from here so let me know your thoughts and theories of that down below and we'll continue our conversation conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in hell. Peace.